All right, fifth grade, we are reviewing how to multiply with one-digit numbers today. Multiplying with single-digit numbers. So, I take a look at my first example. It says a ticket to the show costs $12. How much would four tickets cost? So I have $12, and I'm multiplying that by four tickets to give me my total. So, when I multiply one-digit number, I'll start with the numbers on the right. So four times two. Then I'll work my way to the left. So 4 times 2 is 8. And then I have 4 times 1, which is 4. So I have $48 is the cost. All right, example 2 says, six different times next month, a salesperson must make a 325-mile round trip. How many total miles will the salesperson travel next month? So 325 miles. And he has to do that six times, so times six. So I'm starting with six times five, gives me 30. And I put the three up there to save it for later. Six times two is 12, plus three is 15. And then six times three is nine. Nine plus the one up here gives me 10. So it's 1,050 miles that they have to travel. Circle your answer. All right, it says use dimes and pennies to illustrate three dollars or three times 14 cents. So 14 cents looks like this. 10 and four of these. So I'm going to use this here and then I need that three times. So I'm going to make another copy, make another copy. So now you have three times 14 cents. So I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 42 cents. That's one way to write it, or you could write it 42 cents like that, okay? If you multiply it, you get the same thing. So 0 0.14 times 3. Then you follow the same pattern. 3 times 4 is 12. Save that one for later. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So 42 cents. Here it says pens cost a quarter each. What's the cost of six pens? You might be able to do this one mentally, but if I have six quarters, two, three, four, five, six, I know that four quarters is a dollar. So one, two, three, four. Here's my dollar here. And then I have two left over. And that's 50 cents. So I have a dollar, 50 cents. Or if you wanted to multiply it, 0 0.25 times 6, you'd come up with the same answer. 6 times 5 is 30. Save the 3 for later. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15. $1.50. All right, here is your lesson practice. This is what it looks like. If you have any questions on these, Make sure you ask me during math class. When you're multiplying the uh, money, make sure you don't forget about that decimal spot. That's usually where students mess up. So if I'm doing uh, letter E, 4 times $7.68, I need to make sure I keep my decimal spot here. So I'll do this one for you. Uh, 4 times 8 gives me 32. 4 times 6 gives me 24, plus 3 is 27. And 4 times 7 gives me 28, plus 2 is 30. So $30.72.